So the BSH guidelines were last done in 2005 and in 2015-16 it was decided that it needed to be a revision. We did both the, uh, did this against a number of questions um, including polycythemia vera, special situations and then some of the causes of secondary erythrocytosis which would be the, the non-clonal uh, erythrocytosis part of the guideline. Uh, we were looking at all the uh, literature which had been published since the previous guideline and the idea was to review that and come up with evidence-based guidelines. As regards the non-clonal um, erythrocytosis, the, issue, the qu things that we produced guidelines on are first of all idiopathic erythrocytosis, a diagnosis of exclusion, um, where we said that um, you had to investigate the patients carefully to make sure that they had an erythrocytosis, that there was no underlying lesion. And as regards management, um, that the particular issue that's important and different from the previous guidelines is that venosection should only be considered if they were symptomatic or uh, uh, and the symptoms could be perhaps related to the erythrocytosis and the target for a venous section is not set, but it certainly shouldn't be anywhere like as low as the previous one where it was at 45%. Uh, congenital erythrocytosis, we looked again at all the different causes of that to make sure to look for those and then provide management guidance on uh, how to manage these patients, whether to, to be cautious, if at all, about giving uh, venous acting them. Uh, except in those who had a previous thrombosis and somebody had the same genetic lesion and then to cons consider screening them for pulmonary hypertension and neuroectocrine tumours and finally in one particular subgroup Chuvash polycythemia there may be an issue in treating some of these patients with ruxolitinib which is an off-licence use of ruxolitinib um, hypoxic pulmonary dis uh, disease Again, we reviewed that and then suggested that these patients particularly should be seen by a respiratory physician um, uh, to consider whether they would be candidates uh, for long-term oxygen and only to consider venous section in very special circumstances uh, and, and my, uh, gently. Um, and the final one, I suppose, is that, uh, that uh, cyanotic congenital heart disease when looking at recent evidence felt well, did not really fall within the remit of a haemato haematologists and should be managed by the specialists in congenital cardiac disease.